What is up guys? We are back with another video and today we're going to be showing you how to enable TPM and PTT on your motherboard. If you didn't know, pretty much every motherboard we review, we do a BIOS walkthrough video and you can find these all over our YouTube channel. And in the past couple of weeks with Windows 11, everybody has been asking on all of those videos, how do you enable PTT? How do you enable TPM? So in this video, we're gonna go through how to do that in every major motherboard manufacturer BIOS. We have boards from Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock. We also have a BIOSTAR motherboard in there as well. So hopefully this video will answer all of your questions, how to do it on both the Intel and AMD side. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start things off, we are going to do ASUS motherboards. On the Intel side, we are testing or doing this on the ASUS ROG Maximus 13 Hero. And when you get into the BIOS, you'll be in easy mode most likely. And to get out of easy mode, because we need to go into advanced mode, all you do is go down here and click this button or you just hit F7. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll hit F7. And now we're into the advanced mode and you have all these tabs up here that you can select. Um, you can select them just with the mouse, um, just clicking on them, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard and kind of cycle through them very easily. Now what we need to do is go over to the advanced tab, go down to PCH FW configuration. So again, you just go over, select it, click, and then we see PTT and we need to enable this. So we go over here, click on the little drop down, click on enable, um, and it gives you this notice and you hit okay, and then we need to save. So in order to save, you can either hit F10 and that will you know, bring up the save menu and it will show you your change right here. Or you can go over to the exit menu and click on save changes and reset. And you just click on that. And again, it will show you your change and then you hit okay and you're good to go. Moving over to the AMD side, we have the Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi on AMD. ASUS has made it extremely easy to find uh, the setting for FTPM. So what you're gonna do, probably when you load into your BIOS, you're gonna be here in easy mode. To get out of easy mode, you just go down here to advanced, you click this or just hit F7 on your keyboard, go into there and now we're in advanced mode. All these tabs at the top here, you can see, um, again, you can do this with your mouse or with the arrow keys on your keyboard. So you just go over, what we need to do is go over to the advanced tab and the first thing you see is AMD FTPM configuration. You go into that and then where it says TPM device selection, you it's probably by default, it's gonna be discrete TPM. You wanna change that to firmware TPM or FTPM. It's gonna give you this notice. You just hit okay and then you need to save. In order to save, you can go over here to the exit tab and click on save changes and reset. And it will show everything that you had changed. Um, we can see our TPM device selection is what changed and then we would hit okay. A faster way to save if we're back in our advanced menu here, you know, we changed our everything to firmware uh, TPM. We just hit F10 on the keyboard. That will bring up the save menu as well. And then you just hit okay and you're good to go. Next up we have MSI. On the Intel side, we are doing this on their MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. Um, again, when you get into the BIOS, you should be in easy mode, um, which looks like this. You can move your mouse around and everything like that. To get into advanced mode, there is a button up here for advanced, or you can just hit F7 on your keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, hit F7. And now we're into advanced mode, which looks a lot like easy mode. Um, but you go over here into the settings. Uh, you have all these big buttons over here, but go over to the big settings button, click on that, and then go to security. So you can go over and select security and then go into trusted computing. 
and then first security device support make sure this is enabled so go ahead and enable that tpm device selection um it can either be dtpm or ptt we want to make sure it's ptt i'm pretty sure by default it actually is dt dtpm so make sure you switch that over to ptt and then you need to save so in order to save you can just hit f10 on your keyboard and it will show you your your changes and then you just hit yes to save and you're good to go on the amd side for msi we're going to be doing this on their meg x570 ace motherboard and just like all of these when you get dropped into the bios should you should be here in easy mode to get out of easy mode you can just go up to advanced um, or just hit f7 on your keyboard so let's go ahead and do that and then you're dropped into this other menu which is their advanced mode even though it looks like their easy mode but you go over into the settings menu and then you go to the security sub menu and then trusted computing and then amd device or security device support you change that from uh, disabled to enabled and then by default it should select amd cpu ftpm and then you're good to go and you need to save so to save you just hit f10 on your keyboard it will show you the change that you made you just hit yes and you're good to go now we're moving on to gigabyte and aorus motherboards on the intel side we're going to be doing this on the gigabyte z590 aorus master so when you get into the bios you should be dropped into easy mode right here. Now we need to get out of easy mode. And to do that, you either hit F2 on your keyboard or you just go over here and click this little button right here. And now we're in advanced mode. And as you can see, we have all these tabs, all these tabs up top. Now to select any of the tabs, you can click on them with your mouse or you can use your arrow keys to go through all of the tabs. Now the tab that we wanna be on is settings so you can move over to settings go down to the miscellaneous sub menu right here you can double click on it or hit enter because double click doesn't work and then we go down to in intel platform trust technology or ptt this needs to be enabled so we hit enter and then we go down to enabled and then hit enter again and then you're pretty much good to go. Now to save, we have to save these settings, of course. So to save, you can either go over to save and exit and then select save and exit setup, hit enter, and then hit enter again. Or we can get out of there and just go back to our settings here again. We enable them. All you have to do to save really quickly without having to go over to that menu, you just hit F10 and that's going to save, we hit yes, and then you'll be good to go. On the AMD side of things, when it comes to Gigabyte, we are gonna be using their B550i Aorus Pro AX motherboard. And when you get into the BIOS here, you should be in easy mode. Just like most BIOSes, you can use your keyboard as well as your mouse very easily. Now we need to get out of easy mode and get into advanced mode. So to do that, you go over here and select advanced mode, or you can just hit F2 on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're in advanced mode. In advanced mode, you have all these tabs right here at the top. You can select them with your mouse or use your keyboard, which I actually prefer. So you can go through all the different menus. We need to go over to the settings tab and then down into the miscellaneous menu. So we just hit enter. And then we see the setting for AMD CPU FTPM. So what we need to do by default, it will be disabled. So we just select it and then set it to enabled and then you're good to go. So you need to save, you can go over to the save and exit menu and then select save and exit. And that will bring up the save, you just hit yes. Or if you're back in that menu still, you know, you enabled your CPU FTPM, you just hit F10 on your keyboard, that will also bring up the save and exit menu and you'll be good to go. Next up, we have ASRock motherboards and we're gonna be doing this on the Intel side on the Z590 Tai Chi. Um, and again, you'll be dropped into an easy mode when you go ahead and enter the BIOS. It looks like this. To get out of easy mode, you either click this button right here 
or hit F6 on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that to go into advanced mode. Now we're in advanced mode. Again, you have all these menus up here, main, OC tweaker, advanced, hardware monitor, security, boot, and exit. You can select these by using the arrow keys, as you can see, or you can just select them with your mouse. So we need to go over to security. So go over to security and click on it. Intel Platform Trust Technology, set that to enabled, and then we need to save. That's all you have to do. So Intel Platform Trust Technology, make sure that is enabled. Go over to exit, save changes and exit. You can just click on it. Um, and it shows you that you've made that change and then you hit yes and you're good to go. Also, um, just like well, most of these motherboards, you can hit F10, I believe, and that will instantly save your changes as well. You just have to hit yes. And again, just hit yes and we're good to go for Windows 11. On the AMD side for ASRock, we'll be doing this on their X570 PG Velocita. For some reason, on their AMD boards, there is no easy mode, so you're basically dropped right into advanced mode. You have all the tabs up here, which again, you can use your arrow keys, or you can use, of course, your mouse to access all of the different menus. Now, what you need to do is go over to the advanced tab up here, and then go into CPU configuration. So you just click on it or hit enter, and then you have all these different options for your CPU. You wanna go down to AMD FTPM switch. By default, it will be disabled, but if we go into the menu, we can select a few different things. What you wanna select is AMD CPU FTPM. We enable that and that is it. So we need to save. So in order to save, you can go over to the exit menu and hit save changes and exit and then you just hit yes or if you're back in this uh, advanced menu like we were you know we changed our amd cpu ftpm we just hit f10 on our keyboard it will bring up the save same save menu you just hit yes and you're good to go we are going to wrap things up with biostar i know biostar is not as popular as the other motherboards but i do have a biostar Z590 board here. It is the Z590 GTA. So I figured while I'm making all these videos, I might as well do one for Biostar as well. Um, so on the Z590 GTA and pretty much all of their Intel boards, you are going to be dropped into easy mode by default. To get out of easy mode, you can click up here on F7 Advanced or just hit F7 on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you're brought into the advanced mode. And again, we have all these tabs up here, all the tabs, you can click on them to go through them and all of that. I believe you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go through them. Now, we need to go to advanced and then down to trusted computing. Once it's selected, hit enter. And then TPM device selection. By default, it should be set to DTPM. We need to change that to PTT. Make sure security device support is set to enabled and then we need to save. In order to save really easily, you can just hit F10 and it will bring up the save menu or you can go over to save and exit and go over to save changes and reset hit enter and then hit yes hit or hit enter one more time and you're good to go all right guys so hopefully through this video you were able to enable ptt or tpm on your motherboard again i try to make it as easy as possible and again we covered the four major motherboard manufacturers here in the united states plus biostar as well at least on the intel side so hopefully this video helped you out now if it did i would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up and continue to subscribe for more tech content we'll see you guys in the next video